Welcome to the Lynn Lowdown. I'm Julia Green. I'm the recycling coordinator for the city of Lynn. I work with Recycle Works in Lynn, which is a program of the DPW. So this is my first lowdown segment. And what I'm going to be doing on these segments is I'm going to be talking about how to trash less and recycle more. So this is now we're in the middle of April, and in a week it's going to be Earth Day, April 22nd. And I have a lot of people asking me, well, what do I do uh, on Earth Day to make a uh, to make a difference? And I just tell them, well, I think the best thing you could do is to recycle textiles, because we really don't do it enough. So I thought, well, I could tell you about how to recycle textiles, but instead I decided to invite a national expert who's actually from right here in Lynn. Uh, he is uh, Larry Gropen, and he's the CEO of um, e ERC Wiping Products Incorporated. They're at the corner of Commercial and Bennett Street. Welcome, Larry. Thank you for having me. All right, great. It's great to have you here. So um, what do you do at ERC Wiping Products? What, what's your company about? Well, we we take the textiles or the clothing and, and uh, other kinds of materials uh, that are non, not usable uh, as reused clothing, and we cut it up, and we sort it into different kinds of materials like flannel and terry cloth and, and um, sheeting and, and mm. t-shirts and we separate white from color and then we find uh, businesses, uh, factories, cities, towns, DPWs, school systems and just about anybody who's making a mess we mm. find uh, a product for them to clean up with. So do you sell all over the country? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, we, 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 we're, we're, we're national. We even have a few, few outside the country. Right. Um, so you're a green business, is that right? You were, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. So how many people do you employ? Well, we have 35 people in Lynn, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we like to think that we were green before green was green. Uh, you know, our company has actually been around for almost 100 years, uh, and it began in, in Chelsea and uh, made its way around until it came, came to rest in Lynn. So this is not a new thing. This is mm -hmm. something that's just people are beginning just becoming aware of uh, recently. Right. Wow. So I know that you're very involved with um, this organization called SMART, or it's an association for secondary um, materials and uh, recycled textiles. Um, tell me about that organization, because that's really the way I got to know you. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's an organization that's been around since 1932, and it's made up of textile recyclers, which basically are three different kinds of people. There are people that uh, are in the used clothing business, uh, people who are in the wiping rag or wiping material business, and then there are people that are in the fiber business. Um, and in each, you know, what, what people need to know is that 95% uh, of all textiles, whether it be clothing, uh, household uh, bed sheets, uh, table linens, curtains, 95% can be either reused, repurposed, or recycled. So only 5% of anything that's a cloth ends up actually being uh, landfilled or incinerated. Wow. Yeah. And SMART's organization, their members are all for-profit companies uh, that work in one of those areas, and they're, we're an international association, but the majority of our members are here in uh, the U.S. Right. And then you do a lot of education, right, on um, recycling textiles. So when I say recycling textiles, a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about. What does that look like for um, an average person? Okay. What, is, what are the textiles and where do they take them? Okay. Well, that's because it, it's, it's kind of come out of the closet, shall we say. <laughs> uh, basically... Um, we, when we talk about textiles, we're really talking about used clothing mm. and, and other household items that are made of cloth. Um, and, and basically, in the past, your grandmother, your mother, your aunts, uncles would tell you to, you know, not to throw away your clothing and to give it to, to the charity, the Goodwill, Salvation Army, uh, or, or any number of organizations, and they would get it to the people who needed it. And what's really happened because of SMART um, is we've kind of... Uh, 
open the, open the eyes of the world to, to say, look, not only are you doing a good thing for, for charities and for people who can't afford new clothing, but you're doing something really good for the environment because our members um, don't use any natural resources. Everything we do is done by hand, and we... Um, we have a, we have we can find a home for just about everything. Wow! So if you want to know about what kinds of things to yeah. be, one of one of the biggest uh, um, mistakes is people think that they can only give away clothing that is in good shape or wearable shape, and they can only give clothing. But what they're missing out on is that because of the rest of the textile recycling industry, you can actually give away a, a, a shirt, a pants that have a hole in it, a tear, a stain, um, out of style. Maybe it's from your, you know, your grandmother's basement, and right. and and it's you know from the disco era or something, and but all of that is 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 welcome. Uh, the only thing that that is required when it comes to um, recycling or donating clothing is it has to be dry, and it can't smell. Hmm. That's it. Dry and can't smell. And that's hmm. why you cannot put your clothing in your recycling bins. Right. It must go into a clothing collection uh, facility or, or box or a collected donation center. Right. So there's all kinds of places to take um, these t textiles, your donations, and Lynn, where do you suggest people go? Or, or give them a few examples if they're confused as to where to take sure. them. Well, there's, there's, there's lots of uh, opportunity in, in the North Shore. Uh, right here in Lynn, uh, you have um, in Market Square, right where the Shaw's is, and the, and the Eastern Bank, there's a attended donation center by the Epilepsy Foundation where you, they'll even help you unload your car. And also, not far away on, um, on, um, in Swampscott and Vinton Plaza, right next to the Stop and Shop, is a very large Goodwill trailer mm -hmm. that also has an attendant there. Uh, other than that, I, I know that, that um, some colleges like North Shore mm -hmm. Community is going to hold a collection drive. Right. City of Salem holds collection drives. And, and pretty much you can take a little ride over to Saugus and, and uh, the Salvation Army mm -hmm. on Route 1 will take your stuff. Right. Um, so in, um, what I love about SMART, too, is that there's all kinds of resources there. So if you're a small organization, a Boy Scout troop or something like that, there's all kinds of information about doing a drive that can be a fundraiser right. and also um, helps out the char charitable organization that's collecting the um, used clothing. Is that right? Yes. Most the charities, uh, for example, Big Brother, Big Sister, mm -hmm. uh, kinder, um, a Kidney Foundation, Epilepsy Foundation, you know, they do a, a lot of good work for people and the clothing collection is actually a means uh, to, to, to generate money. Uh, and just like any recyclable, there are ups and downs in the value of, of, of recyclables. Um, but the, the goal is of, of goodwill, of course, is to train people in Salvation right. Army, is to help people who are down, down on their luck and epilepsy, certainly is funding research. So it's it, 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 in, in, in little organizations, um, I know, for example, uh, Swampscott uh, High School has a, a recycling, a, a thrift shop, and that money gets poured back into the schools. So it, it's a great way, it's an easy way, and frankly, I think it's a lot better than standing out in the street begging people to put money in a can by avoiding cars that are at the stoplight. That's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, but there are other ways to raise money, and textiles mm. is one of them. All right. Well, well, thank you. So um, I would just um, want to reiterate that Earth Day is coming up. You can re, uh, recycle your textiles. Um, and a lot of these organizations will also give you a form that you can, you know, um, write it up on your uh, tax return next year if you're going to uh, itemize. And uh, just donate those textiles. Get them out of the um, trash. I just I just wanted to, to point out that it's it's not just your, your shirts and blouses. It's your towels. It's it's your bed sheets, yes. it's your bathing suits, it's your Halloween outfits, believe it or not. You can put in your uh, stuffed animals, you can put in backpacks, yeah. belts, shoes, and again, it doesn't make a difference what condition they're in yeah. because the industry will figure out the best use for them and uh, get them to the appropriate recycler. We'll just make sure they're dry and they don't smell. Perfect. All right, that's it for the Lynn Lowdown. Thank you.